Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, the lighting. Oh my gosh. I'm also realizing as I'm editing that I'm wearing uh, one of the same outfits I did last week, which is pretty typical for me. It's not the same pants, but you know, let's not get into it. Uh, okay, so I am, do, 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 do. I am editing this past week's vlog. It didn't go up on the long weekend like it should have because it was a long weekend. And we were actually, we spent, let me see if I can find a picture. Um, you know, sometimes when, when you watch people, I don't know, you think, you think maybe you have their hobbies maybe nailed down a little bit, or maybe not. I both started, ended, and started another book. Both were um, very long books. I'm rereading Outlander. And then spent the second half of the weekend helping my boyfriend with this contraption, which was actually quite fun. So we got <laughs> we got whatever we were doing done on that. I, I just really hold the flashlight. It's all good. There was a lot of mosquitoes though. I'm noticing this morning I have like a lot of mosquito bites. I have to go to the dentist. So I am drinking my coffee, which is a great big thing of coffee. Editing for another about 15 minutes and then I'll be leaving here. Looks like my eyes are black and blue. The lighting in here, of course, is very yellow. I'm trying to use my camera settings more, so. I moved around some settings to try to make it better. It didn't. It is what it is. I certainly wasn't gonna put makeup on just to go to the dentist and have it smeared all over the place, so. Here we are. But I guarantee you I don't look this tired in real life, or at least I'd like to think I don't. But I am trying to overlay some editing. It's... <laughs> Sometimes kind of interesting. I don't know, I have this, uh, I have some clips that need to be added in to my video this time because I actually take take you with me on my nail throne order. So making my order, how I make my order, how I don't double purchase things, because you guys know my collection is pretty big. It kind of got so that I was really confused there for a while. I had to always make my order while I was at work because of uh, double purchasing. And that just wasn't working out. As much as we try to purchase different colors, I don't know about you guys, but I am attracted to the same colors. So I ended up getting the same ones, which for a while was okay because you do actually go through multiples of the same ones. However, uh, I go through my kind of tricks and tips on how I make my orders. So if you're interested in that, go back and watch the vlog before this. I think it's number 93. Can you believe there's been 93 vlogs? Crazy. A friendly reminder of my dentist appointment today at 8.45. Can't wait. Can't wait. You please wait in your vehicle when you arrive for your appointment and call to tell the receptionist you are here. I'm glad I read that all the way through. Which brings me to confirmation messages. Do you send them? If you do send them, what do they say? What are you putting in them? I'm gonna read mine to you right now. And if anyone wants it, message me on Instagram or I will copy and paste it to you. You can absolutely have it. You can use it as it is. You can add to it. You can take away from it. Mine says, please come in with asterisks because it's very important to my schedule that people come in at their appointment time. It seems bitchy when people come in really early and you're like, if you, with our new kind of cleaning schedules, I know things have settled down now, but with the way things got, if you came in 15 minutes early, that might be my only 15 minutes to eat today. And it's nice to think that if you were 15 minutes early, that you're leaving 15 minutes early and that I would have time at the end of the appointment to eat. That's not how it always works. And we do have more cleaning to do now and we do have more procedures that we either have to go through or like to go through. Please come in at your appointment time. No guests, please. No guests. Masks are optional and can be worn if you like. Cancellation policy is in full effect and available on my Facebook page. See you tomorrow at whatever time. What I do with my confirmation, I don't type that out even every time and I don't copy and paste it either. You can on a iPhone go into your keyboard and you can go into like a, wow, you can go into like a predictive um, text area and you can save it. All I have to do is type C-O-N 
and it comes out for me. And then I am putting the time, the see you tomorrow at, is at the very end. So I just, boom, type in the appointment time and off it goes. That helps you any at all. I said you go into the keyboard setting. Let me double check that. So you go into general, then you go into keyboard, text replacement, and that's where it is. That's where you, you know, there's some that are already in here, S-U-T, see you then, O-M-W, on my way. Now, sometimes it gets in there when I'm trying to type a sentence and I don't want it there, so I have to back clear out of it. But for the amount of times that happens, it's worth it. You can do whatever you want. You can do like Z-Z-Z or dot, dot, dot. Well, don't do that, especially if you use dot, dot, dot. But anyway, you can do any number of things. Also, for Instagram posts, I know I'm going way off topic here, but for your Instagram posts, I have hashtag ZZ in here, and hashtag ZZ, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna show me, but hashtag ZZ brings out like 30 hashtags. If I'm doing a Facebook po or a Instagram post, which I know we don't do much of anymore, but I can just hashtag ZZ and it brings up like 30-ish hashtags and boom. Off it goes. I don't even have to think about them. I don't use them often because they will bot you if you, you know. Anyway, if you're in a hurry, those are things that you can do to make your life simpler because we're all about that. I do have a video, a marketing video that um, seems to be really popular. It still to this day, I put it up like three years ago, has the most views of any video at any given time. So a couple hundred people a month are still watching that. I think that's pretty cool. Back to the editing, I'm probably avoiding it but I do want you guys to be able to see how I make my nail throne orders. Uh, I sent that off this morning. Still don't want to go to the dentist, but I'll see you later. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep I'm ready to sit down with my coffee. But that process really only takes me a few minutes. I've been doing it so long, I just come in and do it, right? I get the lights plugged in and my desk plugged in, um, which would be one of them that I, that I plugged in. There is a, let me show you. I don't know if I've ever actually shown you this, but I have a power bar situated on my desk, which kind of inconveniently runs over to the wall, but nobody sees it back here. It doesn't really bother anybody. And the other piece of equipment that you see me plug in is this here, which is my ultrasonic cleaner. And I changed the liquid out in that yesterday, so I will change it out tonight before I leave. And I put away all of the dust brushes that were drying here. The drill bits are still there, but I'll deal with those in a bit and you'll see that. Oftentimes, I will come in and charge all batteries and like the GoPro and everything, but it's looking pretty good for today, so I'm not going to worry too much about charging. I did water my plants yesterday, so that's something that I'm not going to worry about today. But that is essentially the beginning of my day, and now I sit and drink my coffee that I have brought with me. And also, now is the time when I make any orders that need to be made or I answer emails. Booking appointments, sometimes if someone has messaged me overnight, I will, excuse me, deal, oh my gosh, I've got the hiccups, deal with that appointment now. Uh, by this time of morning, I tend to have a couple of like text messages and group messages just from people I talk to. So I will sit and enjoy myself, watch a YouTube video, do any number of those things or all of them sometimes before I slide over to my desk and finish getting ready for my first 
client of the day. Okay, so I'm about 15 minutes away from my first client this morning. She is coming at 8.30, which is actually kind of a late start for me, which is fun. It's super foggy this morning, so it looks like it's still dark out, but it's not. It'll be sunny soon. So I have a morning, a busy morning up until about two o'clock and then I have a little break. I need to either do my own or make some press-ons. I'd love to make some press-ons. Not press-ons for me, but just press-ons for like socials for you guys. I also need to do my own. They're getting that funny shape to them because I haven't uh, necessarily done a proper fill on them. I put them on with acrylic and then I've just filled them with like a builder in the bottle from the nail throne from Glitterbell. So, you know how that goes. They've got uh, a really just odd kind of new gel tech look to them because I've just painted it on. I have a couple of nails pulling away because I've been picking at them. I of course haven't used any oil. So here we are getting ready for my first client. I have everything over here. My iPad, I'm looking for kind of a technical pair of hiking pants. So I have just been on Amazon looking, even though I haven't been buying a whole lot lately. I do want a pair for like fall, winter. That's a whole tangent. Let's get ready. Let's see what I do to get ready for my clients. So the first thing I'm generally going to do is stash the iPad and my book. I always put my book on top of the iPad because it's essentially the next thing I am going to need. And it sets right here where I can reach over and grab it, whether it's for inspiration or whether I'm using my book to book a client. I still have my coffee right here. I am going to finish that up while I finish this up. The things I have on my desk first thing in the morning, ketamine oil, I have the products that I use, the core products that I use. I also have my Young Nails Protein Bond because I go nowhere without it. I have my cell phone stand, which is linked in my Amazon store down below. If you don't have one, get one, get two, get one for your house, one for the salon. I love them so much. And it sits right here. And then if something comes in, I can glance. It's just easy. I really like it. I have my elbow towel here that I use to prop my arm on and kind of if I have some like cool polishes come in so these are the glow in the dark so these have sat here just so that everybody gets to see them I also have kind of a Hailey Bieber looking gel polish it's called a milky shimmer I don't know if it's still available on the nail throne but that's where I got it from so I do have my chromes out I am able to do that but this is also very Hailey Bieber looking I've left it out because the swatch doesn't really, the swatch that I've made doesn't really look the same. So I thought if I leave it out, I can just show people and we can talk about it. So that stays there. I don't always have polishes here. Again, they're kind of specialty, so they're gonna stay there. You watched me put away dust brushes earlier. I'm going to grab one of those and set it right here on my already clean desk. This was all cleaned last night. Regardless of how beat up it looks, I really need to get a new desktop. I'm gonna reach over here on the towel where the drill bits were, and I'm going to get a regular drill bit to cut down length. I have a drill bit to take off the gel polish. This one bucks really hard when I try to cut down length with it, so I use them both. This one desperately needs replaced, this cone bit. Tell me about your favorite cone bits, please. And I have a cuticle bit that I feel like I can't live without. So I put those on top of the dust brush. Now the dust brushes are from AR Nail Supply. I love these guys so much. They're not gonna focus. The next thing I'm going to do is to get a pair of gloves. Now, of course we wear these for sanitary reasons, but we also wear them just to keep the chemicals and the dust off our skin. So I do just bring them out and lay them here and have them ready to play. The next thing I'm going to dig out is my mask. Again, yes, of course it's for sanitary reasons, but it's also to keep 20 years worth of dust out of my lungs. I've been doing this for a long time, and if I don't wear my mask properly for a couple of days in a row, I really feel it. I get a sore throat. So, mask. That's it. 
I'm ready. I am ready for my client to come in. She should be here shortly. If you have any questions or any suggestions how you think I might be able to do anything different, drop them down below. I think we all get into a rut of the things that maybe we do when they can be easier or done differently to make our day easier. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's probably a bit of a short one, but I really enjoyed making it. So if you want to see maybe like the cleanup process or some of the other processes that I do during the day, just let me know and I'll film that for you. Have a great day.